Uh, Mr. Simpson, uh, you uh, are uh, here from Mitsubishi Electric uh, Visual Display. Uh, would you explain, if you please, the main advantages of visual displays uh, in today's world? Okay, so Mitsubishi Electric have been making visual displays, uh, certainly for video walls, for more than 35 years now. Um, the advantage of the technology that we're showing today is the fact that it is a rear projection DLP cube powered by an LED light source which has the ability to run up to 100,000 hours. Now this can mean that you have no maintenance, no consumables, um, you have no sort of image uh, degradation or image burning or sticking happening onto the um, cube wall at all. This is not like a normal LCD monitor. What this has is, as I said, a light source projecting off of a mirror. Now, if I can show you the technology a little bit closer, we have the ability here to go to the screen, remove the um, front panel here, and if you bring the camera around, you can see inside, if you'd like to come to this side, and inside here, we have a, a projection onto the uh, mirror and then on the mirror onto the uh, Fresnel lens which is this plastic front. Now what that means is because there is no LCD here or anything else electronic in this panel there's no heat at all. As an LED light source also extremely low heat output. So you can run these in very uh, normal conditions don't need any special air conditioning. Um, you also have the ability, let's close this side you have the ability to um, put this into a position uh, against a wall. You don't need to have um, a big space behind on some of the models that we have because we have this front access option. Um, and the cooling and the heat, heat output, uh, sorry, the heat uh, output, because it's so low, um, it gives you a lot less power consumption than you would also with a standard monitor. So typically one of these monitors is less than 100 watts each. So in a total uh, of four cubes, obviously it's a lot less than a standard LCD monitor, less heat, less power consumption, much better for the environment. How large is visual display uh, world market? Uh, large, as in uh, volume of sales. Uh, I couldn't tell you exactly it is, it is today, um, more so how much we have done over the years. Um, we've been doing the video wall cube market for probably 20, 24 years, something like this. LED for 35, as I said, um, but in the cubes we've sold more than 78,000 of these cubes worldwide. So. As a, as a product, it's, it's very well known, uh, certainly in the command and control uh, sector, um, not so much in the retail. We, we, Mitsubishi used to make retail products um, a, a few years ago, but uh, we do not any longer uh, make that. We just stick to the commercial uh, command and control mostly for this type of product. What growth perspectives uh, you see uh, for the years ahead? Uh, well, we uh, opened an office in uh, visual display um, back in uh, 2013 and in 2013 we opened the office in Dubai um, for the Middle East region. Uh, this region uh, we felt uh, was something that we hadn't uh, been so large in. We'd been very good in Europe. Uh, we've been very good in um, in America and obviously in Asia, where you know our market is is from. Um, but what we didn't have was um, a very large growth in the Middle East. So we opened the Dubai office uh, specifically for the GCC and also to cover Egypt, uh, Lebanon, uh, Jordan, uh, Iran, Iraq, all of these countries that we didn't really have much of a, a foothold in. In the three years that we've had the uh, office, we have seen an, an explosion of uh, growth for us personally. Um, so it was a definitely the right move to, to open the office. Uh, and we're seeing more and more, certainly when we come to shows like this, um, the interest from people and, and certainly the interest on this type of technology, which in general is not so well known compared to a normal flat panel, as people would call, like you would have in your own home. Thank you for your interview. Okay, thank you very much.